Hey everyone, Eric here from Mask Audio Electronics. In this video, we're checking out our neck brace phaser. <laughs> Now before we get into the neck brace, let's go over the signal chain a little bit. I'm using my Partscaster Concierge Neptune that has humbuckers. We're gonna run into the Park Garden Germanium for any dirt that we're using. Then we're going into the neck brace, and then from the neck brace we're going out to the Boss Katana set pretty clean. Simple as that. Speaking of simple, let's jump into the neck brace. Now the neck brace is a phaser pedal, and you know, we're kind of all familiar with the orange phaser with one knob, very simple, easy to use. The neck brace is meant to live in that simplistic world as well, but offer a lot more versatility to the player. And it does that through the use of two controls, one toggle switch, and then of course the foot switch to turn the pedal on and off. So I've got a gain sound dialed in on the Park Garden Germanium, pretty low gain. <laughs> Let's dive into the neck brace. Now, if we turn the pedal on, the mix control allows us to blend between the dry signal and the wet signal. Now, at minimum, we're only gonna get dry signal. And then as we start turning the mix control up, we're blending in more and more wet signal. And then up at the top end of the mix control, we're only getting wet signal, which actually turned the neck brace from a phaser into a vibrato. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and set that back down to about 50% about where we get a nice full phaser sound. And now next to the mix control, we have the rate control. This allows us to change the speed of the phaser and it goes from very slow to very fast. And this is one place where the neck brace sets itself apart and makes itself unique and that's in the range of speed. Now, at the lowest setting, it goes incredibly slow. So we have the the rate on minimum. This is the slowest setting. Alec calls that the glacial setting because it moves so slow. And then as we turn the rate control up, we're gonna increase the speed of the phaser.
Now you might be saying, Eric, that doesn't sound very fast. You said it has a wide range and it does because that is only the fastest setting in the slow mode. Now we can change modes of speed with the speed toggle switch in the middle of the pedal. In the, in the bottom position, we're in the slower range of speeds. And then if we turn it to the top position, we're in the faster range of speeds, which means we go from the fastest setting in the slow mode being this. <laughs> to the slowest setting in the fast mode being this. You can hear there's a little bit of overlap there. So the fast speed, the fastest speed on the slow mode is a little bit faster than the slowest speed on the fast mode. That's a lot of slow and fast, but all that to say is now we have the fast mode and we can go from just kind of moderate to incredibly fast. <laughs> And one thing to note is that typically when we start to get into rates this fast, it helps to not overpower the signal by turning the mix down. So the general rule in phaser or chorus or anything really, any modulation, is if you have a slow rate, you want a higher depth or higher mix. And as you increase that speed, you're gonna want less and less of that wet signal because it gets overpowering. So let's go ahead and turn the mix down just a tiny bit. Also, I want to make another point, and that is what I just said, the the slow speed, high mix, fast speed, low mix is only a rule and rules are meant to be broken, right? So you do whatever you'd like. <laughs> but anyway, as we start to increase the rate, we're going to kind of get into like almost ring mod territory. <laughs> That, that sounds crazy. <laughs> Let's hear how it sounds with just the wet signal. <laughs> that sounds like a, a nightmare machine, kind of. But now let's go ahead and go the other way on the mix control, turn that down a little bit. the neck brace from Mask Audio Electronics. If you want to learn more about the neck brace or even purchase it, check out the description below because I'm going to leave a link to the Mask Audio website. And if you did like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'll really help. It'll really go a long way in our efforts. Again, you can check us out on the website. Over on Instagram, it's at Mask Audio Electronics. Same on TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>